all crazy. Why are we crazy? Because you don't know how to stay alive. That's the secret of life. But we have a war to win. Ah, but uh, America will lose the war. Italy no. will win it. America is the strongest nation on earth. The American fighting man is the best trained, the best equipped, the best fed. Exactly. Italy, on the other hand, is one of the weakest nations on earth. And the Italian fighting man is hardly equipped at all. And that's why my country is doing so well, while your country is doing it so poorly. That's just silly. Italy was occupied by the Germans and is now being occupied by us. You call that doing well? Of course I do. The Germans are being driven out and we're still here. In a few years you'll be gone and we will still be here. You see, Italy is a very poor, weak country. And that is what makes us so strong. Strong enough to survive this war and still be in existence long after your country has been destroyed. What are you talking about? America is not going to be destroyed. Never. Well... Rome was destroyed. Greece was destroyed. Persia was destroyed. Spain was destroyed. All great countries are destroyed. Why not yours? How much longer do you think your country will last? Forever? Well, forever is a long time, I guess. Very long. Ciao! <laughs> Please, we're talking. We go to bed now? <laughs> no. Hey, uh, would you go put some clothes on? You're practically naked. Mm. <laughs> I wish she wouldn't walk around like that. It is her business to walk around like that. It's not nice. Of course it's nice. She's nice to look at. This life is not nice. I don't want her to do this. Why do we go to America, Natalie? Why do we go to America, Natalie? You will take her to America? Away from a healthy, active life? Away from good business opportunities. Away from our friends. Don't you have any principles? Oh, of course not. No morality? Oh, I'm a very moral man. <laughs> and Italy is a very moral country. That's why we will certainly come out on top again if we succeed in being defeated. You talk like a madman. But I live like a sane one. I was a fascist when Mussolini was on top. Now that he has been deposed, I am anti-fascist. When the Germans were here, I was fanatically pro-German. Now I'm fanatically pro-American. You'll find no more loyal parties in all of Italy than myself. You're a shameful opportunist. What you don't understand is that it's better to die on your feet than to live on your knees. You have it backwards. It's better to live on your feet than to die on your knees. I know. How do you know? Because I am a hundred and seven years old. How old are you? I'll be 20 in January. If you live. How are you? How are you? Yeah. Yeah. We gotta go back. All the leaves have been canceled. Ciao, yes, sir. Hello, hello, my mm, dear. You give me a dollar? Mm -hmm. I pay you back, you'll get to America. Okay, just one. Just one. One! Give me that. Yeah. Come on, Dobbs. Milo's gonna fly us back. Why are the leaves canceled? I don't know. Milo says the base is on some kind of alert. Oh, yeah. Cathcart raised the number of missions to 80. 80? Yeah. He's mad because Captain O lost another airplane. Where? Ditch coming back from Bologna, went down on the Mediterranean. Air sea rescue out there? Yeah. They picked up everybody but O. 